Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Today I'm going to be making a delicious strawberry shortcake. I'm going to take you through it step by step. It's really easy and it's a perfect dessert to make any time of the year. So let's get started. So there's three parts to a strawberry shortcake. There's the shortcake biscuit part and then there's the strawberry glaze and then the whipped cream. So instead of having all those ingredients right here, I'm going to take it one step at a time and I'm going to show you all the ingredients as I go along. I will be posting them right here on the screen with the amounts and I'll also put it below in the description box, okay? So I decided to start by cutting all the strawberries since there's so many, but I left one to show you how I did it. Now all I do is I just cut this little stem part off and then I just slice it like this, you see? Just like that and this is how I'm using them but if you want to do it differently you know you can cut them into pieces you know just any way that you want whatever you like I'm gonna start out with one and a half cups of strawberries so I've got about a cup right here and a half I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my sugar and my water I'm going to add the zest of this lemon, not all of it, but just a little bit of it. It just gives it a fantastic taste, real citrusy. And that's good right there. Now I'm going to stir it around until it comes up to a boil. Now my strawberry mixture just came up to a boil as you can see and it looks real nice and clear because the sugar has already melted. So now that it's come up to a boil I'm gonna go ahead and lower the temperature to low kind of like medium low and I'm gonna add my lemon juice, my vanilla and I'm gonna give it a little stir As you can see, it's simmering real nice on low like that. I'm gonna go ahead and make my slurry. Now I've got my cornstarch right here, and I'm gonna add some water. This is very similar to the blueberry hand pies and the apple hand pies that I've made. And if you wanna see those videos, I'll have a link below. So you wanna go ahead and mix this up really good. This cornstarch is what's gonna thicken it up really nice. Just like that. And I'm going to add it in here slowly, a little bit at a time like that. And continue stirring it around. Just like that. It's going to start getting real nice and thick. See? Now I do want to maintain a very low boil. You don't want it rolling, just a very low boil. And I'm going to let it cook like this for about five minutes. Now, as you can see, this glaze is real nice and clear. Look at that. See how beautiful it is. Now, I put in one and a half cups of strawberries in here. So now I'm going to add one cup of fresh strawberries in here, like that. Because you do want a little bit of the whole fresh looking strawberries in with a glaze. And give it a nice little stir like this. See, bring it in together. See how pretty that looks. Now that I brought it in together like that, I'm going to add my butter. And this is just going to make it complete. Just perfect. I'll bring it all in together like that. See? Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat. I'm going to put it right back into this bowl where I had my strawberries. See? See? 
See how beautiful that looks? This is going to be our glaze. Now you want it really nice and cool before you put it together. So I'm going to go ahead and set it aside, let it cool, and we're going to get started with our shortcake biscuits. So I've got everything ready to make my shortcake biscuits. Now a shortcake biscuit is like a biscuit. It's supposed to be a little crumbly from the outside, but yet nice and soft from the inside. Just so you'll know. So I'm going to start with two cups of flour. I like to toss it around like this, just so it's not so packed. So here's one cup. Two cups. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of baking powder. Just like this. Now I'm going to add seven tablespoons of sugar. There's one. And there's seven right there. Now I'm going to sift it really well. This is going to give you the fluffiest biscuits if you sift it. And it also comes in together really nicely when you sift it. Just like that. And that's good. Now I'm going to add my butter. Now I've got this stick of butter really, really cold. You don't want it to get hot on you or to melt on you, so you want to work a little quick. Now I'm going to use seven tablespoons. So I'm going to get one tablespoon out of the way. And then I'm going to cut them into little pieces just to speed it up. Okay? And the smaller you get it, the less work you have to do. So I'm going to scatter them around, just like that. And that's good. With my pastry cutter, I'm going to make it into nice, fine, coarse crumbs. Now you can use a food processor if you want, but I thought about using mine, but there's so many little pieces in that processor and then I've got a lot of dishes to do so I'd rather go with this pastry cutter now if you don't have one you can just do it with two forks or two knives it takes a little bit more work but it works too so now I'm just gonna keep on doing this until it gets real nice and crumbly like little tiny peas just like that okay so I got it real nice and crumbly like this so now I'm going to make a little well in the center, like that, and I'm going to add my cream. Now this is heavy cream, and I'm going to add one cup. One cup of heavy cream right here in the center. And I'm also going to dump in my vanilla. I have one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm also going to put in one-fourth of whole milk, but you know, I don't usually use the whole one-fourth. I use just a little bit less, but it makes such a difference. See, I'm leaving just a little bit out like that. Then I'm going to bring it in together. So you just want to bring it in together like this. And you don't want to knead it that much. Just bring it in together like this. That's my oven telling me that it's ready. Just gonna put a little flour like this. And I usually set most of it to the side like that because I'll use it slowly a little bit at a time. So once you flour your surface like that, now you wanna dump it all on your surface like this. Just like that. You wanna use every bit of it. So then I flour my hands like this and then I bring it in together. Now the less you knead it, the fluffier they get, but you can knead it a little bit. So what I do is I just push it down, and I want them to be about half inch thick. I think that's about right. 
So I've got a cookie sheet here. And I went ahead and put some parchment paper on it. Make sure that they don't stick on you. So now you want to use a cookie cutter or you can just, just use anything that you want. Get them as big as you want. I usually get them about this size right here. See? Just like this. Now I'm going to put them right here on my baking sheet. And you want to keep them about half an inch away from each other like that. You want to space them out about half inch because they do expand a little bit. But if they touch next one to the other, it doesn't matter. See how they're nice and wet from the bottom? It's not smooth, but that's the way they're supposed to be. Do you know that this is... I think I told you that this was the first dessert I ever made my run. So I'm going to bring this in together because I, I need to have a little bit more dough. So I'm going to bring this in together, but carefully without kneading it too much, just like that. See? And I think I have enough here for one more. Just like that. Space them out. Now I'm going to give them a light brush with heavy cream. You could use the milk too if you wanted to. Now this is going to give you a real nice golden color. Just like that. See? And that's good. Just like that. Now I've got my oven set at 400 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and bake them anywhere between 15 and 25 minutes, depending on your oven. Now it's usually about 20 to 22 minutes for me. But you just want to keep an eye on them until they're nice and golden brown and they'll be ready. So my timer just went off and my shortcakes are ready. See? So I'm going to get them off and put them on this cooling rack. Because you don't want them to get any darker brown from the bottom. See? See how pretty they are? And you want to let them cool. You can have them when they're room temperature. I've had them when they're cold. And then I've had them when they're just a little warm. I'm going to clear up my area and start on my whipped cream. So I had my bowl in the freezer because I like it nice and cold when I'm going to make whipped cream. But you don't have to do it, it's optional. So I'm going to be using a wire whip for this. Now if you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put in one cup of heavy cream. of vanilla and I have enough vanilla here to bake for a lifetime we're just so close to Mexico and it's so easy to just get a big one so there's one teaspoon of vanilla and I'm gonna put in two and a half tablespoons of confectioner sugar Two and a half tablespoons. So there's one, 
two and a half. And I'm gonna bring it up to medium. You wanna keep your eye on it, so don't go away from it. Don't go to another room, don't do anything. You keep your eye on it. It's gonna be about four minutes. So I'm gonna set it right in the middle in number six, and I'm gonna whip it up for about four minutes. You don't wanna overdo it. I'll show you what it's supposed to look when it's ready. So you don't wanna get away from here because you can over whip it. So for four minutes, I'm gonna bring it up to number six. Just like that. And that's perfect. So here we are. I want to show it to you. See how pretty this looks? See? And trust me, this is better than Cool Whip. And it's homemade. So now I'm going to get me one of my shortcakes. We're going to put it together. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it across like this. Now, it's kind of like a crumbly biscuit, so you wanna just take your time. Right here on my plate. And here are the strawberries. Ooh, look at how pretty these look. Mm. And they're nice and cool. I'm gonna put some of my strawberries on top of the bottom of the biscuit like this see and then I'm gonna put some of my whipped cream on top just like that then I'm gonna put the top of the biscuit on top like this Put a little more strawberries on top. Just like that. You can put as much as you want. Ooh, look at that. Now some more whipping cream on top. So here is my delicious strawberry shortcake. So what do you think? Should I do a taste test? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Oh man. And it's a little messy, so you do what you want with it. Look at that. Ooh, and the biscuit is so soft. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh my. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Like a real soft cookie like biscuit like texture of the shortcake and then the strawberries. Oh man. Mm. Mm. So this is my strawberry shortcake. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Share with your friends. And do subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you.